Hello everyone, I'm Dina Brewster and I am the farm manager at the Hickories, which is a 15 acre fruit and vegetable farm in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the issues that I face as an organic farmer here in Connecticut um, and also help you establish how you might deal with some of those issues in your home garden. Uh, in particular, because this is an organic farm, we're going to focus on soil health, how you establish a spring bed and then how you, uh, not only in the soil, but then also how you plant it and prepare yourself for pest disease and weed issues. You can sort of see in this field that was plowed pretty recently, um, the soil on this farm is what we call sandy loam. It's at this point pretty dry. Mm -hmm. If you, the feel effect of a sandy loam is basically gritty. Sometimes if you pick up your home soil and it's slippery a little bit and your fingers are smooth in your fingers, then you have a clay soil. Mm -hmm. um, clay soil is a little harder to work with, um, but perfectly possible. And clay soil doesn't drain water as easily, um, so you can sometimes do more with that. Um, sandy soil does drain water very well. This soil is not too sandy, it's not too clay, this is called loamy or sandy loam soil. Um, it's also very rocky. Soil is made of organic matter, which is decaying plant uh, weeds and root systems. It is made of rock and minerals, uh, and it is of course made of air space. There's a tremendous amount of air space in soil. Those basic ingredients are a pretty important thing in terms of trying to work with the soil that you have to make it as productive as possible. The reason organic farming is called organic farming is because of that organic component in the soil. There is rock, there are this decaying organic matter, plant life, root life, all of those things. And that organic matter is the food that is basically the only fertilizer that I use. Um, so we try, in or as organic farmers, to increase the percentage of organic matter, since that is the real life of the soil, to increase the percentage of organic matter in our soil every year. I take a soil test on this twice a year, <coughs> once in the spring and once in the fall. And, I sh and you can do the same thing if you send it off to Cornell or to the Connecticut Experiment Station, and you can ask for that organic matter reading. When we started on this farm, you know, the organic matter was maybe four or five percent. Now we're up to six or seven, and that's a huge jump. It doesn't happen overnight, um, but that organic matter is, as I said, the food for the plants. I can't add in a bunch of synthetic fertilizers like Miracle-Gro, um, and so I really need the soil to be healthy enough to do it on its own.